How many of you have taught kindergarten? As an elementary teacher and a K-12 through school counselor, let me remind you of how children ages 6 and 5 learn. They are curious, they explore, they ask a ton of questions, they are active learners and they love to imitate what they have learned by playing school. They are in constant process of discovery. This is how new ideas are tested and assimilated into the very understanding. Playing allows children to apply what they already know to make new connections with new information. And because they are tactile learners, as a teacher, I must provide manipulatives and props. Kindergartens learn through observation, touch, smell, and taste. As a kindergarten teacher, one of my assignments would be HEK 7.1. State medically accurate names for body parts, including genitalia. So today's body part is the penis. Yes. How comfortable are you with kindergartners actively exploring this penis, touching it, rubbing it, smelling it, enriching their vocabulary by describing it as enormous, like an elephant, long, pointy, ridges, spongy, flesh-colored, tennis balls? Do you really want them investigating at recess in the bathroom as to who has one and who does not? Do you really want them actively exploring how to get their penis from a droopy position to one like this? And what is the protocol for when these kindergartens, not if, but when, are discovered at recess in the bathroom exploring each other's genitalia, playing school? Enter the angry parents. Their kindergartners are expelled for indecent exposure, sexual harassment, sexual abuse, sexual assault, rape. Enter the lawyers, suing school districts, school board, teachers, and staff. Playing allows children to apply what they already know to make new connections to new information. They're active and tactile, tactile learners. So now, kindergartners could be punished for playing school. And for the record, I'm opposed to these health standards and opening Pandora's box.